Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're in the Vintage Bike Mechanic area. We're working on some really nifty things here, an old BSA, uh, Triumph, 63 Triumph, I believe. A10 BSA there, I think that one's been put together. But uh, check this out, all kinds of goodies in here. Uh, something I'd like to point out, just kind of in the rafters up here. Notice those from a hurricane. Just amazing stuff, just kind of laying around up here, you know. All kinds of goodies. Acre of books and manuals and you know kind of goes along with the the area, but uh, check out this tank This is up at 63 over there Just a beautiful thing Not sure what they're doing to it. They got well they got the top end off. Maybe they're doing a whole new top end on it That's a common thing on these things Nifty, huh? Uh, this is a 1963 Bonneville T120 650 we drove one like this same year and everything single shoe front brake drum brake kickstart only of course oil tank right here check that out that's just gorgeous you know what we should be looking over here at this stuff six volt battery look at the innards there a big old chunk of crankshaft right there one of the ways you can tell this is a 650 is the space right here the cone right here there's the heart right there uh, jumping over here, this is a that BSA. So we look, we saw this in another video. Video, so it's an A10. It's got a monoblock carburetor. This is the one that's a golden flash. I can't remember what year it is. Maybe it says here. No, it doesn't. But uh, beautiful thing, isn't it? Just a gorgeous bike. They finally got it back together. We didn't get to look at this stuff up here. So I'm guessing this is like headlight, low, high. The Smith chronometric gauge dampener right there. Come around to this side, and uh, oh, amp meter right there on the side. Boy, that'd be a hard one to read, isn't it? Choke up here. I'm guessing this is high-low for the lights, kill switch, horn probably, single mirror. There's a little plug that goes there to cover that up. A thing of beauty, a thing of beauty. Uh, last time we saw this bike, the top end was off. This was all gone, you know, taken apart. They redid the whole thing. Innards on everything, I believe. Isn't that beautiful? A little heat shield here to protect the carburetor. Just a... Wow, look at that tank. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a 1957 Spitfire 650. Drum brake on the front, of course. Little adjuster right there. Check out that back end. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. Pure art, pure art. I'm going to show you all this. I don't know if I'm supposed to show you this, but I'm going to show you anyway. Just part central. Hey, what are you hoodlums doing? <laughs> Just bits and pieces for motorcycles, every, more tanks. Everywhere I go in this place, they're old gas. Check, check this out. Check out all those gas tanks. they got hundreds of them. Just in this building alone. Pipes. You know, if, uh, if you need it. They've probably got it. If they don't got it, you're going to have a heck of a time finding it. You know, it just... And this is just one building. Just one maddening building full of motorcycle parts. If you ever get here, you go to the uh, Royal Enfield showroom, you come down this darkened hallway. <laughs> it's not darkened. Come to this door right here. Old toy room, vintage bikes. And I get you back in here. Check this out. More gas tanks up there. I just want to point this out real quick. Richter Machining. This is the guy that rebuilds your uh, British bikes. Does framework. Does all kinds of neat things. Um, something I found back here. I think we did a walkthrough video here just recently. So probably not much has changed. Check that out. Somebody was saying this is called a chip basket or something like that. Somebody online was telling me that. Just, you know, absolutely gorgeous bike. I might have to come back and do a video on that one. Look at these Nortons over yonder, matchless right there. Um, no, another matchless. Uh, this is actually a P11, and that's something I really want to ride one this coming year. That's on, on my short list. I got a, I got a five bike short list, and that's one of the bikes on it. <laughs> Someday I'll tell you all what else is on there. This is another one I'd like to ride. Just an absolute beauty. I hope it stays. I, they're getting ready. They got a shipment going out. And I know a bunch of these are going to be on that shipment. So, you know, if it's here when it warms up, it's too below outside right now. So if it's here when it warms up, we'll try our best to get it right on it. Tiger Cub T20. 
200 cc isn't that something I rode several of these bikes here oh, it's got a plate on it um over here here's that harley i got cussed out for showing the other day i like harleys what can i say i like the brit bikes too what i really like is that one right there it's just a real it's a 1974 Kawasaki H2 750, which is about, uh, I think it was 752 cc's or 748 cc's. They just got this in here a while back. It kicks over. The tag on it is that right there, seven grand. Has a title, amazing. They really cleaned it up a lot. I wish that was in the ballpark of my bank account but it's not it's just an amazing thing i would buy that tomorrow if i had the cash oh another harley oh this is a friend of mine's bike <laughs> y'all are gonna cuss me out for showing harleys right well I, you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna cure that let's walk over here and see what we got that is very similar to like uh bike marlon brando road in one of the movies nifty old bsa over here we've got uh some old Triumph. I think these are 500s. I want to show you this real quick. So the 500, the kicker and the uh, shifter are right next to each other. There's no cone on the front of the motor anymore. Heads are a little bit different. Really neat looking bike, isn't it? A couple of Royal Enfields over here. I think we rode, I think I rode both of those actually. I know I rode that one. A beautiful old Triumph, 64. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We did a video on that one last week. That's a triple. That's another one I want to ride. Gorgeous bikes, gorgeous bikes. Villers Norton. I don't know what the difference is between a Villers Norton and a Norton. If you all do, please post. Look at that rear hub. Looks like it's missing something. One of the ones I'd like to get out this year too, if possible, if it doesn't go and sell, is this thing here. 1972 Rocket 3. A75 750 and there's the tag on it that is amazing. we're gonna do a video on that one I'll try to get to that if it doesn't ship out because like I said they've got an order shipping out with a whole mess of bikes if it doesn't ship out we'll try to get to that one next week and then of course look at this beautiful lightning back here all right I'm pining I'm going on and on and on hey if y'all are in the market for a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type like any of these or more. They've got more. <laughs> if you need parts, accessories, gear, boots, gloves, coats, anything at all, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell them hot rods that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if it's a beautiful day where you're at, and even if it isn't, get yourself out and enjoy life. Get a bike ride. Wahoo!